So well done everyone for watching this film. Now, huh? our JS2 and JS3 will come forward and then they'll explain it to us. Okay, next person. You mustn't move. I can see you here. To 
Accra. Accra. And I can see you. Okay, that's nice. So group one, you can go and sit down. Well done. Group two. Okay. What's your name? My name is Good. Next person. Just tell us your name and your class. Yes. Thank you.
No, you can't go and sit down. So, um, now I'm going to give a quick recap of all what they've said. Huh? JM uh, primary 6 and primary 5, right? Uh -huh. You watch the video, you like it. Uh -huh. Now, in this film, this, your seniors have watched this film before, and your seniors have come to teach you about the film. In this film, we saw what happened now, we saw what happened to her. Is she going to school? Why? Because her father sent her to go and work. Huh? Which leads to gender equality. Don't treat a boy better than you treat a girl. Yeah. Why? Because they are all human beings. Treat all human beings equal, right? Yes. A boy and a girl are equal. Don't say a boy is bigger than a girl. Because they are all human beings. So that is what happened. Her father and mother sent her to go and work. Why they sent her mother to school? Huh? If you remember, there was a part when the father was saying, the father was saying, you shouldn't um, look our roof is going to go off. And then you because of you, you not bring enough money. How old is she? Eight years. Eight years. How old are you? Nine. You are even older than her. So imagine that it's you. They said they are carrying. <laughs> <laughs> you see? So you have to see that her father, her parents, they did not do the right thing. They should have sent her to school. But sometimes people are products of where they come from. Like if you and I come from where Babu comes from, maybe we'll be thinking the same way like her father and her mother. Eh? So what is our responsibility here? Our responsibility is to take these things we've learned eh, and take it down to our communities. Now, who can give me an example of a bamboo situation in Nigeria? Eh? Yes? Eh? Hawkers. Good. Hawkers. You've seen them on the road, right? Yes. Child hawkers. They are carrying granules. Um, I see, I get that. Eh? You see? And they are not going to school. Which other example can you give us again, apart from hawkers? In our. Inside, right? Okay, let's say yes. Should I care? Go to our position, should I care? Yes. Almagiri. Almagiri, okay. Almagiri is an Arabic. Word for disciple or student. You understand? They are supposed to be students. Students like you, but they come to learn how to read the Quran and Arabic. But then their teachers take advantage of them and send them to the streets to go and be begging. But they are not supposed to learn. That is not part of the, the main reason why they came to learn. They came to learn. Right now, we send you on to the state, we send you to uh, another state to go and school. Then your teacher will carry you as you go and look for money for you. Instead of teaching you. Because that, that's not the goal of our magic. The goal of our magic is to teach them how to read and write the Quran uh, the, from the Quran text. So we have imaginary children all over our streets. In terminals, you see them. British, almost every junction you go to, you see them on the road. Right? Oh, give me money. I want to bring a real student, yes? Beggars. And all this, you can link it towards poverty. Eh? And why are they poor? Because they don't have access to education. They don't have an education that will help them to be able to use their minds to create something for themselves. Yeah? And even after they finish school, sometimes they don't even have job opportunities to do, do any work. And they don't have capital to be able to start a business. So, as agents of change, your responsibility is to make sure you do your best to 
educate people about these things that you've learned. And try your best to, as much as possible, come up with solutions for this problem. What solution can you come up with for people to get an education? Yes? Free education. Good. Now, I have to tell you something about uh, quality education. Quality education is not that everybody is going to school. It's not just that. It is that the quality, the kind of education you are getting should be enough. Eh? Not speaking English is not learning how to read. It's not education. It's, it's, not, it's not all about speaking English. You can speak English but you don't know how to do, you do anything. Eh? So, thank you very much. I'm from Agape Chamba Academy. I'm, I'm 11 years old. I'm here to talk about the SDGs. The SDGs, they are sustainable development goals which help us in our country. It helps our country to develop. Firstly, I heard SDGs. I thought it was just in the world of the world. It was just a few attention to your But when I got to learn SDGs, I knew that it's a, it's a part of society. And I've learned a lot of things in this two months. I learned about the 17 goals. I within a movie I watched. It was talking about no poverty. And to me, poverty is not even for our community. Around us we see beggars everywhere around you begging for this and that. We have if we come together and help each other, we're going to make a there are plenty of children who are really hungry, like the orphanage. We need to go and visit them. The little we have, we need to share it. Those who are hungry, like the, those who are haven't, do not have food. And we have to be a little bit kind to them. The thing I've watched, I have watched, um, now in our society, there are many people that suffer like we have. Better than boys, they can do whatever they want to do. Then you don't, don't put girls down because everybody can have the same Boys can do what they want to do, and girls are the same. Gender equality says that we shouldn't put anyone down. Human beings are human beings, we are all human beings. We, we shouldn't put anyone down. And in quality education, too, about that, it's not only meant for boys to go to school. Girls are supposed to go to school too. We shouldn't send our boys to school and leave the girls at home. They think that girls might only end up in the kitchen, but that is not right. And our school need we need to bring quality education to students. They need to learn more about many things. And I learn about gender equality. It doesn't matter whether you are a girl before you go to school. Whether you are a girl or a boy, you need to go to school and then there are a lot of things that you need to learn and so you have to really learn. They doesn't have to keep you as a girl to go in search of food for the family. Even a boy can do so, but parents really have to, even girls who can try their own food. Chinese 
action. This is all about the things we do in our environment that affects our climate. How we plant. If we plant, we should be careful not to destroy our plants. And the trees around us, we should not cut them down. We can't stay here. We can't live in this kind of society forever. If we look like this, we are not going to be like in our society, we get bitter everywhere, everywhere is dirty, and it affects our, our health. And we have to be safe. So I have to encourage more people so that they can learn how to keep their environment clean and make the society a better society. I learned, I learned that we should keep our environment clean, avoid littering, jackass, bottles, and anything like that. Because of climate changes, because of the things we do can affect our environment and cause er erosion of the and the earth needs plants to sustain us like humans. We need plants for oxygen and plants to make us for carbon dioxide. So we have to take care of our trees in our society. Like for instance, many people who use boxes. In the fifth, there are aspects of human, human wasting resources like, like the story in Bamboo, their environment was, wasn't so good. So I can use I can use it. We can use films to impact knowledge to others because there are examples and uh, films can attract people to watch and learn from it. About my perspectives and how the film has um, been impactful to my learning and teaching, I think it reinforces my understanding of global issues. The understanding that global issues exist beyond a particular space. They are as global as they come. You cannot say um, what is happening in Nigeria is different from what is happening in Europe because People who live in Nigeria and people who live in Europe all face problems and these problems are things that they all have to overcome in their own way. So just like global warming and poverty, all these are things that affect everyone across the globe. So in my teachings, I've learned to be able to reinforce the idea of saying, look, don't think that because you're in the global north, or you're in the global south, then your situation is different. No. We are all facing the same situations. We are just in different places. Um, 
what surprised me the most was how much they learned. They learned a lot in a very short period of time. Because um, I believe that when you use the normal teaching aid of using the book and the chalk on the board, um, they do learn, but it's not as quick as it is when they are watching a film. And so the documentary films help them to learn about the SDGs in time because they could relate to some of the stories that they watched. So I think that surprised me a lot. Um, I think one thing I will do differently in the future with using documentary films to teach um, the SDGs is I would um, create more films that um, I think would relate to the children more because even though we had films that um, they could relate to, many of the situations that they saw in the films are quite far away from them. So I think that's something I will do better in the future. I've already seen how much documentary films add up to the learning of the students. So I think it's an aid I always use whenever there's an opportunity. I would prefer to go to a documentary, show them how it works, and then through it, see their understanding of relating to other human beings. Absolutely, I feel very confident using impact films in um, teaching in class because impact films are, are a way in which people can empathize with the, with the situations that the characters that they watch are going through. So therefore, I believe impact films are actually the way of the future when it comes to teaching in class.